So why can't you get it up? Well, today we are going to dive deep into the exact science behind erectile dysfunction and all of its causes. So first of all, erectile dysfunction is one of the first signs of some kind of underlying medical condition. Now, unfortunately, these medical conditions can be very varied and uh, there's quite a few of them. So things like heart disease, obesity, diabetes, uh, prescription drug side effects, actually a very common one, alcoholism, smoking too much. So erectile dysfunction could in fact be an early warning sign that you might have some of the above problems we've just mentioned. So we're gonna go into the three things we need to fix and optimize in order to cure erectile dysfunction. Number one, optimizing your arterial health. So your arteries are where your blood flows through your entire body. People don't usually really consider the fact that you have arteries in your dick. That's how the blood kind of gets pushed into there in the first place. So a strong erection response needs healthy arteries. Basically, the blood in your body needs to flow unobstructed into the penis. So in the same way that you can get arterial plaque throughout the rest of your body, you can get arterial plaques in your penis. These are basically calcium deposits that build up in the arteries and they thus obstruct the, the healthy, normal, optimal flow of blood in and out of various extremities to your body, AKA the dick. Number two, we need to support nitric oxide production. Now this not only optimizes performance, but it also optimizes and maximizes the size that your erect phallus can achieve. The idea is nitric oxide helps your blood vessels, it's the, the compound that causes your blood vessels to relax and dilate. Now this is a very interesting thing that most people do not understand about the erection. The erection is a relaxation response. So your blood vessels have to relax and dilate and expand in order to be filled up with blood. So if you are stressed out and anxious and nervous, and more importantly, you have extremely poor nitric oxide production in your body, those blood vessels are not going to expand, they're going to contract. So the amount of blood that is able to flow into your manhood is thus going to be smaller. Now there are actually two key components to optimizing your nitric oxide production. One is the actual production of nitric oxide itself, and two is the abundance of nitrates in your body. If you don't have any nitrates in your body in the first place, then your body can't even naturally produce nitric oxide to begin with. Number three, you need to optimize your venous system. The venous system is kind of a series of locks that force the blood flow to only flow in one direction and not to randomly go back and forth. A perfect example of this is actually varicose veins. So varicose veins are an example of what's called venous leakage. Venous leakage also applies to the penis. And a great bit of evidence of this is if you are unable to maintain an erection in certain sex positions, well, that is a clear cut sign that you are suffering from venous leakage and the minerals and proteins that help to support the health of these valves that lock the blood flow are significantly lacking. Now, for the last 12 months, I've been working on a solution to erectile dysfunction. So if you would like to learn how to optimize your performance in the bedroom consistently, reliably, every single time, and be one of the first people to know about this exact solution, then I suggest you check out the link down below in the description.